we have uh, the configuration and environment up and running with Modbus PAL simulator here that you are seeing in the Ubuntu. And uh, we have configured a slave and we gave some value to it. And uh, now let's, uh, let's attack this uh, through using the Metasploit framework. We are going to use the Metasploit framework within the attacker machine at uh, Kali Linux here that you are seeing. And from here, let's uh, start the demonstration. So let's open the MSF console, Metasploit console. Let's wait a couple of seconds for the MSF to be started. And the Metasploit Framework Console is uh, going to start. And the Metasploit Framework is up and running. In this, uh, we can search uh, for the modules related to Modbus. So we use the command search Modbus. And we have here, here some auxiliaries related to the Modbus. And uh, here we can see that we have uh, multiple modules. And uh, there are auxiliaries models. So here we have the model to find the unit ID, uh, to find banner grabbing. Here the, is the unit ID, banner grabbing, Modbus client, and uh, so on. And uh, that is the, uh, the, for the model find unit ID, is, that is the slave ID. By default, the first ID is one. And here is the Modbus client. Here you can see Modbus client. And uh, uh, this is used to attack as a master and to give uh, the rewrite operations on the target slave. So let's uh, use this one. So uh, let's, uh, let's use this auxiliary Modbus client and uh, try to read uh, data from uh, holding registries. All the slave in the master slave uh, uh, Ubuntu machine, which is here. And the Modbus pal is up and running and the slave is running. And let's try. Let's, uh, we saw the options and actions and we set action now for the read holding registers. So we are going to set the data address now that we, uh, you want to, to read the data and can set data address, for example, two. The address is set, and uh, now we will set the R host. The which is the IP at IP address of the target machine of the Modbus pal, and in this case is one ninety two one sixty eight one hundred four. We have typo. The R host is set. And from this moment and now on, we can run the auxiliary from the Metasploit framework and see how it shows us read the data in the holding registries. And we see it uh, shows us one, two, three, zero. It's a value. Let's check for the ID2, ID data. And we see it's like this. Because uh, uh, how it, how, how it uh, order is that this is a 0, 1, 2. This is the order that the slave is making and that the Metasploit auxiliary uh, Modbus clients reads on that order. 
And uh, now uh, let's change this to perform the change on the resist holdings. We are going to use different actions that is write register. So now let's uh, change this to perform the change right on the register. And we are going to use different actions that is going to write onto the register. And uh, those commands are like that. We are on the auxiliary Modbus client and we want to show actions that this auxiliary has. And it has write register. And we are going to use this actions by set action, write register, the action is set. Then we want to set uh, the data address that we want to write. And let's assume it's uh, two, select for the data address two and uh, set the data that we want to write. For example, let's check how is those data for the data just data address two. At the master on the slave, data address two is zero one two is five 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 five. Let's put some data like three three two two. And uh, we want to set our host the target IP address where the slave is running within the master slave. Our host is set. And now we can run the auxiliary from the Metasploit console. And you see, it sends the right register. It writes the values that we want it, 3322. It's a successful written at the registry address number two. And I'll do auxiliary module execution completed. Let's check. On the Ubuntu machine, on the master slave, on the slave, and we see it's three three two two. So that is uh, for today. Uh, with this, we conclude the demo on the Modbus PAL simulator uh, by attacking from the Metasploit framework, uh, reading the unit ID and writing to the register scores of the slave in the master slave.